Welcome to an overview of the Holistic Web T-Card module. To enter the T-Card module, click on the tile or utilise the functionality navigator on the left hand side of the screen. The T-Card module is divided into various sections. There is an outstanding and a completed work view and a daily, weekly, monthly and annual view for job management. The daily view shows the engineers across the top and the time period in each day down the side. The resource information details assigned work against resources, turning red when the time to complete the work is greater than the resource availability. Jobs are colour coded as follows. PPMs are blue, work orders green, equipment failures in red and help desk requests are yellow. To create a new job is easy. Simply drag and drop the type of job you wish to create onto a date in the calendar for a particular engineer. Let's try this with a work order. You may create a work order by selecting the position or asset via the tree view or using a filter rule table. We'll use the tree view option and fill in the mandatory information as highlighted in red to create the work order. Save and exit, and on returning to the T-card, the new work order can be seen in green. Finally tune the duration and start time for the work order as required. As you can see, this new work order means that Engineer 5 has more work assigned than he has hours on shift. We can overcome this by assigning Engineer 4 to give Engineer 5 a hand. Select Engineer 4 from the resources and drop him onto the work order. Both engineers are now assigned to the job with Engineer 5 being the principal engineer. The time on the job may now be shortened with both resources assigned to ensure the work can be completed in the allocated shift time. Let's have a quick look at how to manipulate existing jobs. Moving a job to a different date is also easy. Here you can see a work order assigned to Engineer 7 on Monday the 6th of October. This can be dropped via the calendar onto Tuesday the 7th of October or any other date for that matter. The job now appears on Tuesday the 7th of October but is still assigned to the same engineer. Click on the calendar to return to the original date. The unassigned jobs panel allows jobs to be dragged and dropped onto a particular date and time for the designated resource. To help find the relevant job, filters can be applied to the outstanding jobs list. Let's leave the daily view and look at the weekly view. Click on the tab to select the weekly view. The weekly view shows jobs assigned during the week for each individual engineer. A job can be dragged to another engineer and then dropped on a particular time and date for this engineer. Now let's look at the monthly view. The monthly view gives an overview of the number of jobs in each day during the month. By double clicking on the summary the daily view will show, illustrating the jobs. And finally, the annual view. The annual view gives a graphical representation of the jobs and resources for each month throughout the year. By double clicking on a node point, the monthly summary view will be loaded. Again, the monthly view can be double clicked to load the daily view. For further information or to arrange a demonstration, please do not hesitate to contact us on 01793 823 013. Thank you.